Hey guys, welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> and welcome to our zero. <laughs> So, we never done a vlog like this before. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided to go to the store, or Lacey went to the store, to pick up some supplies for a pretty in-depth recipe. And then, um, so we're gonna do that tonight. Well, with a little bit of unforeseen circumstances that arose, landing getting sick, mm -hmm. um, that recipe is just gonna take way too long. So we're gonna do that for a future vlog. Yes. It's gonna be exciting, so just wait for it. Yeah, should but, we tell them what it is? No. Surprise. Can I tell them where it's from? No. Okay. It's all a surprise. So that would be really fun. Just tune in. <laughs> um, we'll have it up. We'll have it up soon. Um, but uh, the thing is, is we, or Lacey, has a thing for marshmallows. Yes. Well, while I was at the grocery store getting the supplies for this secret recipe we will share with you guys later, I found these. And they're the Jet Puff marshmallows, but they're the peppermint kind. And so I just bought them. Just I'm not really a big marshmallow fan, but I started just consuming okay. this. And so when I was consuming it, so I was just reading everything. And there was this really great recipe that, that we happen to have all the ingredients yeah. for. So we're like, let's do that instead because it's not as in depth. Yeah. So we're going to be making with you guys a chocolate peppermint popcorn. Yeah. So we'll show you all the ingredients right now. And it says it should only take um, like 25 minutes, but that's with baking. So yeah. it looks really simple. We're gonna have a fourth a teaspoon of salt right here. Um, 40 marshmallows that were actually hand counted. One stick of margin and um, four ounces of baking semi-sweet chocolate cooking bar. And then some popcorn. They say about four cups. We're not gonna do that much. We're just gonna kind of see how it goes. But the idea is you just melt all this together. So we're gonna try doing that and see what happens. You melt it, you toss it, and then you bake it. And then you let it sit. And then it should be good. So we'll try it out. So four ounces of the semi-sweet baking chocolate. And then the stick of butter. Pops right in there, and you melt that on low. And then you stir frequently, not low setting. This may take a little time. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a really good job, babe. I'm just trying to get the chocolate up. <laughs> Probably should put the butter down first, but. Oh, so pro tip, put the butter down first? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Again, this is just, we decided to just do this right now. But if you get, the recipe is all on here, but we will definitely link the recipe in the description below so you can try it yourself. A nice little popcorn while watching your Christmas movie, because our plan is to watch a Christmas movie tonight while eating some Christmas themed popcorn. Lacey can't help herself, but she is. Oh, what? There's salt all over that. <laughs> <laughs> Salty marshmallows. Okay, so Christmas idea, babe, because we actually don't have an air popper popcorn machine, which could be a cool Christmas gift because I love popcorn. But we're just actually using just Kirkland branded popcorn. It's not super buttery because there'll be enough butter in there, but we're, uh, so popcorn setting. Two minutes and 30 seconds actually is perfect for the Kirkland popcorn bags, just so you know. But yeah, we're just using microwave popcorn for popcorn. So we're doing two bags of that, popping two bags. All right, so we're going to go ahead and spray the cooking sheets with some Kirkland cooking spray. Costco's the best. And we're waiting for this guy to pop. The rest in there, still melting. We're making progress. So what Christmas movie are we gonna watch tonight while we eat our Christmas popcorn? We haven't done any Home Alones yet. Should we do two? Home Alone two or one? Two. Really? Yeah. Just skip the one? We watched a little bit of one already. All right. So. A little bit of Home Alone two. two while we're doing this. Sounds good. Sounds good to me because on Disney Plus, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. How's the chocolate coming? It's taking forever. Yeah, I know. So I'm only doing it. Mm. I'm. We're really excited to show you guys this next recipe that we're gonna do. 
it's pretty in depth. It is. We're really excited about it, but it's a surprise. So stay tuned. My favorite thing about this is you buy this entire bag and the recipe is on this because this is like the, I guess the main ingredient, but it's not. I mean, it calls for 40, just 40 marshmallows <laughs> for this entire thing. We're making this entire recipe because you bought this little bag of marshmallows. You realize that? I do. I was just planning on eating the marshmallows. Yeah, they're actually really, guys, I'm serious. I don't like marshmallows, but these are, these are enjoyable. All right, so to be clear, we have to stir this until there is no butter left, or it's all melted. But it says to stir frequently, which Lacey has been doing. And then when that is done, that's when we add the 40. And There's only 39 now. You ate one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, no, we have to do 40. <laughs> Okay. okay. Are you sure you only ate one? Yes. Maybe two. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna do one more. Just <laughs> okay. Okay. It's melted. All right. So we pour in these slowly. It says to do a little bit, and then we have to stir those mm. all until they are melted. Ooh, I just want to eat those marshmallows. Okay. Let them melt. Should I just completely? Well, let's see. It says right here. Add marshmallows, stir. Oh, yeah, just add them all. <laughs> okay, let me be clear. You're gonna think that these marshmallows aren't gonna melt. They will. Just a little bit of perseverance. Notice that we switched rolls here because it's taking forever <laughs> to melt. <laughs> so just keep it going, keep stirring, just you know, the words of Dory. Just keep on swimming, just keep on keep on stirring. Right? That's a dad joke. Okay, so we got to this point right here where there's a little bit of chunk in there, but we think that's gonna be okay still. Oh, because of peppermint. we're gonna we're gonna bake this anyway, so it should all even out. Okay, so we'll remove that right there. Pour the rest of the salt in there. Stir that like so. And now we're gonna take all this chocolate. This chocolate goodness. I'm gonna taste it. I think that's gonna be good. It's hard to tell. It's just interesting to see what it's gonna taste like. So now we're gonna take this and pour it all over the popcorn. All right, and then we're just gonna toss it around. And this is not the easiest thing in the world. All right, so when it's all tossed, then you just kind of put it on your baking sheets, like so. Honestly guys, two bags of popcorn is probably perfect for this recipe. All right, and then the oven it goes. And it says to bake for what, 15 minutes? It says 20 to 25, but after 15 to stir it. Okay. So now as we're waiting for our popcorn in the oven, we will start one of our favorite Christmas movies, Home Alone 2. All right, it's been 15 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and stir these guys up and put the timer on for another 10 minutes. Took them out of the oven, and now you just let it cool on some wax paper. Just like that. And I'll let you know how it goes. Popcorn's done, watching our movie, and we're gonna go ahead and test it out. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm, it's actually really good. I like it. Do you taste the pe peppermint in it? Not really. I don't really either. Hmm. Mainly just the semi-sweet oh, chocolate. Oh, you know I can. Yeah? A little bit. I would recommend maybe putting some more marshmallows in there, honestly. Yeah. But I feel like the amount of popcorn we made was perfect. Mm-hmm. Because like a perfect coating. Yeah. It gets all the way around. It's really good. I really like it, though. Yeah, because it's not too chocolatey. Yeah. Not too peppermilly. 
to have a little more peppermint, but it's actually like perfect. Yeah, I really like it. It might be. <laughs> is it a little salty? <coughs> Sorry. I think it's a little. <coughs> I got it like a little piece of kernel <laughs> or popcorn in my throat. Yeah, it's a little salty. I wonder if it's because because the popcorn that we have already had salt in it. Mm. So maybe if you do microwave popcorn, maybe add a little bit less salt than what it calls for. But if you're into salty stuff, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, check it out. We'll put the recipe below. And then stay tuned because we're going to actually have a, a way better recipe coming up soon. And I think you guys are going to enjoy that one too. Yeah. But uh, other than that, you guys have an amazing week. We'll talk to you real soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Bye.